Now, Iran is run by a dual executive authority with a supreme leader and a president. So exactly who holds the power? Well, at the top of Iran's power hierarchy is the supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. His sweeping mandate extends in every direction to the military, judiciary, religious affairs, the media and even nuclear policy. Now, he also appoints clerics to an influential body called the Guardian Council. It's charged with protecting the constitution. It controls all elections and determines who can run for parliament and the presidency. The president heads the government and cabinet. He oversees the economy and his role as the face of Iran's diplomacy gives him prominence on the global stage. Now, the president is directly elected by voters, as is the parliament, but the president ultimately answers to the supreme leader. So. Does anyone have power over the Supreme Leader? Well, there is the Assembly of Experts. 86 clerics who appoint the Supreme Leader also have the authority to replace him. Now, Hossein Musavan, uh, Musavan joins us live on Skype from Florence. He is a former diplomat and nuclear negotiator who used to work with centrist candidate Hassan Rouhani. Thank you very much for joining us today, Mr. Mustavian. Now, no doubt that the Supreme Leader does have overarching uh, powers when it comes to Iran's politics. Does this then mean no matter who becomes president, Iran's foreign policy will not change? No, this is not true. Uh, uh, we have had three presidents, uh, President Rafsanjani for eight years, President Khatami for eight years, and President Ahmadinejad for eight years, and Iran has experienced uh, different foreign policies during each president, while even the leader uh, has always had the final word on foreign policy, but he had permitted different administrations to go with their own foreign policy. Mr. Mosavian, now you worked with centrist uh, candidate uh, Rouhani, Hassan Rouhani. How do you sue... You, how do you sue Beg your pardon. How do you see him changing Iran's foreign policy? I have worked with Dr. Rouhani for eight years. At the same time, I worked with Dr. Velayati. Uh, he was foreign minister. I was uh, his ambassador in Germany. I worked with him also for a decade. Although Dr. Rouhani is the most moderate candidate, but. Uh, uh, I know Dr. Velayati and Dr. Mohsen Rezaei and Dr. Qalibov, they are also uh, moderate in their foreign and domestic policies. Uh, uh, Dr. Rouhani and the other three, uh, uh, they believe there should be a major changes in foreign policy for a better relation with regional countries a better relation with uh, Europe and also decreasing the tensions with the US and also a new nuclear policy in order to lift the sanctions. Although Dr. Jalili also believes that the sanctions should be removed and he doesn't oppose a good relation with Europe and regional countries, but he believes the previous uh, foreign policy during President Ahmadinejad has been uh, relatively fine and he is going to continue the same policies. Right, let me just, just ask you there. Now, Iran's nuclear program is very closely linked to nationalism. How much is Iran willing to compromise? Now, you said that you painted quite an optimistic picture that going forward, whoever gets voted in does recognize that there is a need to work with Western powers in, uh, over the nuclear program. But how much is Tehran willing to compromise over its nuclear program? I, I really believe this is not uh, very much related to the situation in Iran. I have been involved in nuclear negotiations and during four years of my stay in the United States, I firmly believe it is uh, very important uh, what kind of policies the world powers, P5 plus Germany, which they are negotiating with Iran, they would take toward Iranian new president. Uh, by this, I mean very simply, if they recognize the rights of Iran, the legitimate rights of Iran under NPT uh, non-proliferation treaty, 
for peaceful technology, including enrichment, then Iran would be very much cooperative on transparency measures and every objective guarantees for international community that Iran is not after nuclear bomb. The problem up to today is because the P5, the world powers are not ready to recognize the rights of Iran. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, for the next president, if P5 is the world Mr. power... Mosavian. Mr. Mosavian, I, I do apologize for that, but we are running out of time. I do thank you for your time, for being with us. That's uh, Hossein Mosavian, the former diplomat and nuclear negotiator from Iran. And you can get more on our Iranian election coverage on our website, aljazeera.com. There you'll find our special spotlight page and a live blog with all the day's events.